Disability is no handicap for Jane Tweel. Despite being visually impaired, Jane holds down a full-time job helping other people with disabilities to get into work. I did have a career as a teacher um, and I had to give that up because the, there were various barriers in the workplace and in attitudes, which meant that I was no longer able to su sustain that kind of employment. The government reckons that there are a lot more people out there, just like Jane Tweel. They want to get one million people off incapacity benefit and back into work and cut the annual benefits bill of £12.5 billion. And that's why the Department for Work and Pensions is planning to introduce next year a medical test which aims to assess people's capacity for work. However, Jane Tweel reckons it won't be as simple as that. Now, I know from the latest incapacity benefit statistics, because I'm a bit of a swat, <laughs> that 41% uh, of the people currently claiming imp incapacity benefits have got mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And we also know from research that employers are extremely reluctant to employ people who have these impairments. As part of this back-to-work plan, the government has commissioned top doctor Dame Carol Black to review the health of Britain's working age population. To know what you're fit to do is much more important than knowing what you can't do. However, the government's political opponents question whether all this is going to work. Conservatives say that the pace of reform is simply too slow, while the Liberal Democrats believe that it's demonising people who have disabilities. But Dame Carol Black wants your view as well, and I've put details of how to do that on the Channel M talk board. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.